Hi guys, so I am doing a video here to kind of give an update and um, give some information as well on like how I handled um, the news with family members. And so um, first of all my update, yesterday in the afternoon, which was the 25th on Thursday, uh, February 25th, um, got a call from the doctor and my pathology tests from my lymph nodes came back and they had taken they took 10 lymph nodes from my armpit area and all 10 of them came back completely clear of cancer so that was such a relief yesterday was such a hard day um, because I was just like it's like this emotional roller coaster, and I, I plan on doing another video about, you know, like emotions and things that, that go through, um, which I think tend to run a little bit sort of consistent with, um, you know, people when they find out they have cancer, from what I've talked to with other people anyway, and kind of seen on the internet, but anyway, um, so I was kind of my, I was on the downside of my roller coaster yesterday. Usually I'm up and I'm pretty, you know, really positive spirited. And I mean, even all the doctors and nurses and everyone says, you know, you are going to have no problem with this whatsoever because of your attitude. Um, and I, cause I usually, I just, you know, I, I even when I got the news, I, I was just like, I'm going to kick this, you know, I'm going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'm going to, you know, come out on the other side of this better than ever. Um, and, but then once in a while, that little roller coaster goes down and you hit a low time. And when I hit the low time, I do anyway. And when I hit the low time, that's when I go, oh my God, I may die. You know, this could go really bad. Um, you know, this is serious and, and, and I get panicky and I start thinking, you know, and then it kind of feeds on itself and I start, you just start going, you just start considering like that it could happen. And that's so scary when you have that confronted in front of you, like seriously, no joke, you know, it, it's, it's scary. But, um, so anyway, I was on that on that really low part of that roller coaster, emotional roller coaster, and just in a, I was in a lot of pain yesterday. I think coming off of the pain meds, I only took pain meds um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and. Tuesday, Tuesday, and Monday I only took two doses, and Tuesday I only took one dose. Uh, yeah, yeah, and so Saturday and Sunday I was on them every four hours because it was very painful. And um, the so Wednesday I took no pain pills, and Thursday yesterday. Um, I took no pain pills. And so I think I was coming off of those two a little bit. And of course, you know, pain pills, they make you, nothing hurts. <laughs> you know, you feel great. Everything's great. And um, it's, I don't like them because I, I don't, I don't like a false sense of what's going on. I like reality and I like to face reality and it, so I don't like them. Uh, so anyway, but I think coming off of those and just knowing I was going to get the news, I was supposed to get the news yesterday, I was feeling really um, down, you know. And, and it, so it just emotionally, I was just like, emotionally and physically, I was drained, completely drained. And then the call came in and they told me the news. And instantly we're just like, I mean, me and my husband both were just physically went, oh my God. <laughs> where we just like breathed heavy a few times, like just letting all of that out. It was like this just release. It was so, um, it was so great. Anyway, instantly the, just the whole mood changed. Everything was back on the bright side and okay, now I'm going to kick this. And, um, 
so now you know the original plan not the original original plan is in place but the original one after we found out it was in a lymph node is in place um, so we will I have my next doctor's appointment uh, this coming Wednesday March 2nd and they will hopefully remove this drain um, I do not like the drain at all I, I don't like it like I can handle pain but I don't like freaky stuff I don't like stuff sticking in and out of me and just weird feeling and I don't like it so I I cannot wait to get this creepy drain removed um, hopefully on the second it just depends on how much fluids are still coming out of it but um, it's slowly slowly getting down there to where you know hopefully by the time Wednesday comes I won't have much of anything draining out of there and they can take that out that, that will be a very happy day for me um, and then I just need to deal with the port for the chemotherapy which you know that's I don't like it but it's okay that's just small so it's not a big deal but this drain is like it comes from my armpit it's got this tube and it's got this plastic bottle that collects the fluids and I just don't like it um, so hopefully that will come out and then I should hopefully also find out when I can start my chemotherapy um, which you know no I'm not happy about it um, you know I did who wants to take chemotherapy but um, I am excited to get it started as soon as I possibly can start it and get it done and over with I mean I just know I'm looking at it each step that we have to take and each thing that we have to do I just keep looking at it as one step closer towards health one step closer towards health you know and and so I want to get it started I want to get it done I want to get it over with um, and I know it's gonna suck I know it's gonna just not be fun but I, I can I can get through it I can do it um, and oh and then I was going to just do I was gonna um, put it all together in this video I thought it would be kind of you know in, informative to let you know how I I informed friends and family members and so I chose to be very upfront and honest um, I tend to be very private to where I hold things in and I don't like to burden others with it I you know I've I've been sick on on and off and I tend to just not tell my you know like my mom and my dad my sisters and stuff like that I tend to just not tell them because I feel like you know the doctors can't haven't been able to help me so you know we don't really know exactly what it is so what am I supposed to tell them and when you just feel crappy most of the time then um, you know you just don't want to burden your family with that so you just you just keep it inside um, but with this I decided that from um, I wanted to be upfront and honest because you know every time something would happen you know my mom would be like why didn't you tell me why didn't you she feels so horrible that I didn't tell her you know what was going on and you know I was trying to be the the brave one doing the right thing and I finally realized that uh, you know if it was me with my girls I would want to know like immediately I would never want them to hold anything back from me I'd, I'd want to go through it with them and I want to help them in any way that I could and so I just had this overwhelming feeling that I just need to make sure I get this out there and share it with my entire family and friends um, and that well, I think was harder than finding out I had cancer um, I just I stressed over it I stressed over it. I, I, I get ready to tell somebody one of my family members and I just I would just sit there and stress and stress and stress like oh god I don't want to call I don't want to say anything I don't want to do anything and you know I didn't want to um, you know I wanted to be sure that my emotions were strong and in check so that I could be strong for them and not break down and cry and let them know that everything was going to be okay um, and so I, I I told my mom and dad first and um, 
you know, I wasn't, it wasn't like, you know, oh, chipper, I have cancer, but I tried to stay positive. You know, I was definitely very distraught over it, but at the same time, I was like, it's going to be okay, mom. It's, it's mom and dad, it's going to be all right. You know, it's, it is what it is and I'm going to get through it. Um, and, um, they were very upset, you know, my mom just broke down and, um, you know, but, but it, it could have gone a lot worse. Um, you know, she kept it together enough. It, it, we could talk about it and, um, you know, just face it, um, the reality of it and the truth of it. And um, then I asked her, I really didn't have the strength. I felt emotionally at that point to tell all of my brothers and sisters. I have five brothers and sisters. So I asked my mom, I said, you know, I, I hate to, you know, ask this of you or burden you with this, but if if you could do something for me, if I could just ask you to call and tell, um, you know, my brothers and sisters just because, you know, I'm just not feeling up strong enough for it. And emotionally, I was not. I, I couldn't. I couldn't make all of those phone calls and, and say it over and over and face it over and over. So... I felt kind of bad about that, but at the same time, my mom was more than happy to do it. And, um, you know, it's it, people like to do things for you. Like when I found that, you know, all these people saying, let me know if there's anything I could do. Let me know if there's anything I could do. They mean it, you know, and I've never, I never want to call in a favor or ask for a favor. And, I just, I had, you know, to get over that too. And although we've handled most everything ourselves, we've done very well. I've told, I told everybody that if we run into any problems that we need help, I guarantee you we will call. And I would because it's not a time to be proud or overdo yourself or anything like that. Um, you really need to, if the, if the offer for help is there, people truly like to help. Let them help you. Um, and so... My mom did that. I had to tell my um, boss at work, which, you know, and with her, I was more like, you know, it was just like, I was more upbeat, like, hey, this is what it is. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm going to be fine, you know, um, because I had just, I had actually just gotten a promotion at work, too, and I wanted it so badly. Um, it was a big pay raise and everything, and I was, um, I wanted it so badly, so I wanted to be sure she knew that I'm going to be okay, and I'm going to be back, and I'm going to be kicking butt, and, you know, at work, and I'm, it's going to be good. So, um, so that was, that was good, um, and then the kids, <laughs> that was very hard, um, I told them after I had told, you know, the rest of the family members and a couple of my really close friends that was the worst. I did not want to tell them, you know, I have a 14 and a 16 year old girl and uh, girls, I should say, and I just, I didn't know how to do it. I, I, I didn't want to see them hurt. I didn't want to see them break down. Um, I didn't want them to have to cover their emotions and try to be strong for me. You know, I, it was so hard. Like, I just, I wanted to run away and hide rather than tell them. I just, I did not want to face that. And the day finally came where I knew, and, and they're busy girls, so they're always, you know, here and there with their friends and stuff. So it could be hard for us to all hook up all at once, you know. And so I did tell them one day, I was like, I was on a weekend, and I said, you know, I really need you guys to, you know, be home from your friend's house uh, tonight so that I can, you know, just talk to you. And, of course, they're like, well, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? You know, and um, I was like, well, I, I don't really want to say. I don't want to talk about over the phone, but, you know, come home. We'll discuss it. And um, so got them all home. One, my youngest daughter, her friend was here. <laughs> Um, but she's like a family member. She calls me mom and everything. So I did not mind that she was here at all. Um, 
And so I sat them down and I said, okay, so I'm just going to tell you I have cancer. And um, they handled it. Like if you could ask, I would think if you could ask for any kids to handle it like textbook, like they read something on it and they knew, already knew how to handle it, that's how my girls handled it. Um, they were really cool. Like they didn't break down and get all emotional. I mean, definitely was a shock to them, but they asked questions. Like instantly they were like, okay, what kind of cancer is it? Um, how far along is it? And, you know, so I got all my information to show them exactly on the chart where I was and what it looked like. And, you know, they asked, well, what are they going to do? And, I was just, I was so proud. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, I raised these girls? <laughs> How did I do that? Um, they just, they, I couldn't ask for them to handle it better. Um, and then lots of hugs, a few jokes, <laughs> booby jokes, you know, um, which it was, it was perfect. Um, so I... It, and then after I had told all, you know, family members and close friends and relatives, I um, then be I used Facebook. I used social media because it's there and I, you, I cannot possibly, you know, get in touch with every single person and, and let them know and, I, you know, write them each an email. And I don't want to leave anybody out. And then the other thing was I wanted everyone to know and not feel any differently about me. Um, I didn't want to, I felt like for me, for healing, um, it, it would have been detrimental for me to try to, you know, go in and put on a brave face when nobody else even knew what was going on. Um, I would rather people be like, hey, she has cancer. Look at her smile. Look at her keep on with life, you know, and, and, and I wanted them to be able to approach me and say, you know, um, you know, hey, sorry to hear that, but it, 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 but know what was going on with me and be able to ask questions and feel comfortable. I didn't want that kind of like that, what they call, you know, the elephant in the room where you come in a room and it's like, oh, ugh, what do I say to her? Do we even, does she even know we know? Or ugh, did you hear about her? Or, you know, and not, I'm not saying that like anyone would be mean to be like that, but how, I know how I'd feel. It, it's like, do you say something? Do you not say something? Do they not want to talk about it? So I just want everybody to know where I stood with it. So I went on and I put a post on Facebook and, um, you know, just told everybody exactly what it was, just like I did with my girls and my other family members. This is what it is. Um, this is what I'm going to do. And I am going to be fine. And, um, you know, I want you guys all to feel perfectly comfortable with approaching me, asking questions, uh, you don't need to pity me because it's okay, I'm going to be all right, um, and it just really, it was great, like, I'd go into work, and, and co-workers would treat me just like normal, um, sure, they'd ask questions, and, you know, things like that, and, and, of course, say, you know, I'm really sorry to hear that, and you, all of, you know, that, but it just, I felt like it just took that whole uncomfortable feeling away, you know, um, so it was good. It was really, really good. And the outpouring of support, talk about prayers, positive energy, love, you know, positive thoughts. Holy crap. I mean, I got a ton of it and that helps, believe it or not. I totally believe in it. Um, everything is energy and, um, you know, and, and God and, um, I just feel like if you can have the more people you can have praying for you, thinking good thoughts towards you, sending you positive energy, positive vibes, that has got to be a good thing. <laughs> and everything that's happened, you know, with my surgeries and how it's gone, yeah, there's been, you know, a, one little dip low when the lymph node came back with cancer, but then, hey, you took 10 more. I could have had. 2 out of 10, 4 out of 10, all 10, you know, they could have had cancer in it. And then we'd be dealing, we, you know, now all of a sudden we're in this area where it leaves a lot to be questioned. And I don't like that. Um, and it didn't. So 
there has got to be something, you know, to be said for all of that positivity and prayers and love. Um, and so I, that was how I chose to handle it. And then of course I, after a lot of thought and also due to the fact that I have so much extra time on my hands right now because I'm not working and I can't do anything yet, you know, um, it just, I figured, hey, I'll, I have been on YouTube for so long and so much has happened and I'm feeling so relieved to be sharing all of this and purging it all out and, and going, you know, getting it done and over with that. It's like, let me just go on YouTube and update all my YouTube friends and followers too and, you know, share this. Plus, as I said in my first video, when I found out that I had cancer, like the first place I came to was YouTube. And I started watching videos from the American Cancer Institute, um, uh, the, you know, people that had gone through cancer, uh, because I wanted to know, you know, it, it helps to have, it helps to get the true facts, like from, you know, the Cancer Society, Cancer Institute, I forget what it is, and things like that. But then it also helps to, it really, really helps, I feel, to watch videos of people that actually went through it because they can give you the honest truth about, you know, what each stage felt like and or, or each thing, you know, surgery, chemo, radiation, what have you. And I know everyone's going to react different and everyone's, you know, cancer is going to be different. Um, there's just so many variables there. But the more information that is out there, um, you know, it makes me feel, it gives me a sense of, um, um, oh, peace, I guess, you know, or calmness, being able to kind of see that, hey, this is beatable, it's conquerable, you can do this, you know, people have, and they do. And uh, some people with much, much, much worse than I have. Um, I, you know, I'm on the low end of the spectrum here um, as far as cancer goes. So I'm very, very, very lucky. And, um, but I just wanted, you know, maybe, well, I know there's going to be other people out there that are going through pretty much the same thing that I am there's it's becoming so much more common to find cancer in these really early stages with women with you know all the mammogram and technology stuff that we have um, so you're gonna see more and more uh, women and men you know for that matter going through this um, so it may be hopefully uh, from my videos might be comforting or I think that was a word I was looking for comforting um, it might be comforting to someone going through something similar or the same thing and if so then I that makes me feel really 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 good uh, and good for my healing process too so anyway that is the newest news on the lymph nodes and the um, how I broke uh, the news to friends and family and I'll be doing more videos on different areas. Uh, might even do another video right after this. So, all right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.